Well, that is not a very good uh, <laughs> exposure. Hi, so I was doing a video on the GT 1030. It will be up, I think, tomorrow because there's a lot of like editing that needs to be done. But for that, I needed to like open the die and do some shots with it. So I pulled it off and now we need to repaste it. This is a tube of thermal paste right here. It's just some crappy ones because I can't find anything around here that's high quality. It's gonna be to be better than nothing because the thermal paste is really just going to, you know, bridge the gaps. <laughs> As you can see right here, this is a heavy ass uh, like heat sink because there's no fan in this. This is a GT1030 passive. So that's, you know, pretty cool. Okay. This is a big ass one. We only need a very small amount because it's like the exposed dye. Oh, uh, that may be already too much actually. Yeah, that may already be too much. Um, hmm. Uh oh, we gotta be careful here. Oh, there's some tissue. I want this to be a quick video, but uh, I think we're going to have to shoot. I mean, there's a lot of it, so we can probably redo that, hopefully. It's like, oh crap. Uh, you don't want it around the, like, these things because it's going to short it real sure. Quick styles here. Oh god, I think I'm making it worse. Oh jeez. I, sh I should have gone with the Q-tips. Actually, I should get one. Q-tips and alcohol. So, I'm going to very delicately clean it around the dye. This one especially. Man. Okay. I don't think that's enough. I don't know. Let's spread it around. I want it to be sort of even because, well, it's the dye. There is no integrated heat spreader. It's like it's going to depend on the pressure that's on. So I think that's good enough. Uh, I'm gonna call that good enough. I'm shaking right now. I just got home after buying this stuff. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit in there as well. Yeah, just a little bit so that it's much easier. Actually, I should probably lower it down. Ah, that they're on my level. Hey, got him, man. So like, yeah, that's backwards. So if I angle it like this. I'm looking this is real careful styles here because you know what I'm just going to remove this because yeah there's really not enough just a little bit more at the center yeah yep real quick styles here you gotta be careful because if you get this wrong, you're going to chip the dye for sure. Oh crap, okay, hold on. Is it even vaguely centered? Yes, yes it is. Okay, so. Screw time. This is going to be easier with actual screwdriver instead of just like a flathead but 
it's going to be a bit more of a hassle. So we're not going to put it on right away because we have to spread the thermal paste and the tension evenly so that like no corner of the die gets too much tension. Man, this is going to end up longer than the uh, the G than the video itself just because I'm like rambling here. <laughs> but in fairness, this will not be edited. I will not be editing this because that's way too much work for a vlog. I'm kidding. If it's it's not going to cut off. Uh, I made sure this time. Oh, oh crap. Slowly. Three. Four. Last one. Oh, stopper. Once you hit the stopper, just don't don't even try and force it. Okay, that's that is it's bowing a little bit. But if you can see that right there, it is vaguely on there. I really hope I did not chip the die doing that. Okay. So yeah, that's me repacing my GPU. Smash like.